What's going guys, Zenus here and today in this video of Excess Heroes I am presenting to you guys this Awaken Hero Guide where I will be discussing how to awaken your hero units and on top of that one is it really worth it or not so let's get this on first of all guys in this video today my fate Correra is gonna be the hamster I will be trying to awaken her and let's look into the right hand side screen right over here which actually shows what sort of bonus stats she is gonna benefit after this awakening effect okay let's look into the attack stat which actually does matter to her the most right she's actually gonna get a bonus of plus 1500 attack stat boost right off the bat after awakening and she is gonna receive or let's say have the new attack stats of 2842.5 stat wow that's a lot guys and let's look into her current attack stat let's try to compare and contrast guys so right over here guys her current attack stats with all those equipments being uh, offered to her it's about 2532 points only that means she is gaining 300 plus attack stat bonus right off the bat which i think is definitely awesome you can also apply this kind of effects to other hero units like let's say for shuffer again what does really matter to him the most it's the defense stat right and after awakening really guys he actually gains a lot of defense stat boost right off the bat which actually makes it much easier for him to apply that fear of abyss to the opponents which is definitely quite helpful and very useful in the current mm, pvp mera right so there we go guys so in summary, this process is very, 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 very worth it. All right. Now let's look into the basic help guide right over here, guys. Okay. Awakening. It says when you awaken a hero, they can equip rank one equipment and all non-ranked equipment cannot be worn. Yes, you heard me right. Meaning like there is a new type of equipment that has been just introduced in this game, which is called the rank one equipment. And you might be asking me like how to distinguish between the rank one uh, equipment and the normal equipment. You can just look into the equipment right over here and see that like there is a r1 type of like a text that is just patched on the icon of the item or let's say the hero unit as well just look into this my shofrican has just been awakened all right i just awakened him and there is the r1 text that has been patched to his icon right over there so that's how you know that if a unit is awakened or not okay so there we go guys all right and there are various ways of farming or let's say getting the rank one equipments in the current contents which definitely i will be covering up in the next video it is only available when all equipment worn by heroes except weapons of six star plus five enhance are faded i really don't know like who is the one who is translating this thing right over here but this english really sucks okay <laughs> sometimes it really just get me gets me frustrated but anyways i will try to make you understand and all equipments are level 60 or higher so what it is basically trying to say is that my fate core right, right over here before she can actually proceed to the awakening she needs to be at level 90 right off the bat okay that's the thing uh, she needs to be of a uh, six star grade and on top of that one she needs to wear this kind of like uh, faded gears all right this faded armors and on top of that one this faded armor should be of level 60 at least okay if they are not level 60 you will not be able to awaken your hero units just like let's say for example right over here fate core annie okay if we really want to awaken her right over here we cannot still awaken her because there are certain conditions that are not fulfilled why because the other faded equipments are not yet at level 60 look into this equipment right over here guys that's not level 60 yet okay so that is one bottleneck right over there you know the the requirement is not fulfilled yet so that is the thing all right now let's get into the another condition when you awaken a hero all the armor on the hero will be destroyed yes i mean like it's kind of really good thing okay because like after getting destroyed you will be able to equip now new kind of armors that's going to be the rank one armors okay and that's going to be really good i mean like extra stats right of the right right over there guys ladies and gentlemen that's really going to be really awesome isn't it equipment that has grown above the awakening conditions return a certain amount of materials currents used yes you heard me right meaning like like let's say for example this equipment's right over here has already been like done a lot of enhancement like magic enhancement or um, any kind of sort of other type of enhancement that you have really done so far like special forging the type of materials that you had invested into this kind of uh, you know like uh, extra upgrades you will be receiving back those kind of items 
Yes, you heard me right. Okay, that's going to be really cool indeed. Like let's say the Orb of Mana, uh, you will be able to get it back as well if you had invested in your equipment so that you can make them much better, right? If you had invested uh, that kind of items on this into this kind of armors, then you will be getting it back. That's what it is really trying to say. There is, uh, uh, you know, like payback system. Awakened Hero gets a bonus effect. You can use currency to unawaken a hero. Yes, you can actually awaken your hero units, right? And after that, you can again reverse it back. You can unawaken a hero as well. But I really don't know, like, why would you do that? <laughs> uh, so far, I really don't think it's really going to be making a really good sense to unawaken your hero. After awakening, just leave it, okay? Because the stat bonus that you are actually gonna get through the awakening effect is just massive and humongous, which you just cannot ignore. Destroyed armor will not be restored when you unawaken a hero, yes. So, yes, while you awaken your hero unit, definitely the resources that you had invested in your armors are actually gonna come back to you. But when you unawaken your hero units, there will be no reimbursement, okay? So make note of that one anyways the next thing that i would really want to say to you guys is the awaken bonus effect awaken bonus effects applied according to the guardian stone set of the currently equipped equipment so it's actually going to change all right so for example the nature element right over here because like i have provided my fate Correra with the green element or let's say the nature element type of guardian set effects okay a guardian stone set effects right here you can see like that so with this she is now uh, currently being able to enjoy plus 20 dots stat effect okay so what will happen after i awaken okay what's going to happen is that the guardian stone set effects is actually going to change okay right up here guys look let's look into this one nature Element guardian set, is, uh, set effects with three set effect is going to provide plus eight plus, uh, and six set effects is going to provide plus 20 dodge effect, right? But with the new effect, guys, this is actually going to receive HP plus 2000 and dodge rate plus 12 with six set of the natural elements uh, guardian stone set effect. So right over there, guys, that's going to be the change over there, which I think is much better than compared to before, okay? Those stats really raw actually it did not make much of sense because like i actually used like this kind of stats in the battles and i really did not feel that much of significant difference it's really rng right out there but the flat defense stats the flat hp stats that's that's something that you just cannot deny it just gets applied right up there it's actually is in math all the time and i really do love that one they are very 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 loyal okay so the new set effects really does make a lot of sense so that is also another thing that you have to keep in mind, okay? Anyways, now let's awaken. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Let's awaken our Fate Correra right over there, guys, all right? And yes, the awakening effect is also going to require you guys a two unit of the... What do you call that? What do you call that? What do you call that? Holy Water of Universe. So best of luck with that one as well. <laughs> Man, okay, so right over there, guys, 40,000 gold and the 25 ore of mana was returned back to me because, like, I had already invested 25 ore of mana into that hero upgrade, okay? So there we go, guys. I had just received back what I had invested into my faded armors before. It just came back to me, okay? And there we go, guys. Now, there is an R1 icon that has now just been patched to the icon of my fate Correra. So now let's look into this one, right? Let's look, let's go back. Right away, guys, let's look into her stats. Wow, just look at that. The attack stat is gonna be 3,558. The extra attack stat is being provided by this uh, uh, faded weapon right over there, which is not actually consumed during the process. Okay, the weapons are not consumed. Only the armors are gonna be consumed. And looking into the other stuff right over here, guys, you can see that, oh well. The armors are missing, okay? Uh, auto equip, well, I really don't have them, so I just need to farm them. But anyways, looking into this one, wow! That's a humongous amount of stats change right over there, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, if you really want to stay in the current meta of the PvP battles, or let's say if you, have, if you want to have a really good time in dealing with the insanely hard PvE content that has been recently introduced, like let's say in chapter 11 and the path of trials, holy crap, you really need to awaken your hero units or else you will not be able to compete in that kind of, you know, like contents, okay? So please do it. It's really worth it. You really have to do it really, really, really nicely. And you can see that the R1 icon is just uh, passed up right on the icon of my fate career as well, making it sure that like she is now, you know, 
uh, awaken. And you can also awaken your unawaken your hero units as well, okay? Okay, so there we go. There is actually a tutorial phase right over there. I have actually never actually done that one. But anyways, there is actually going to be the penalty when you unawaken your hero units. And I really don't know why would you do that. And there is a heavy penalty of cess as well. Like 500 freaking cess. Guys, it's really not worth it. Okay, when you awaken your hero units, there is no cess investment. You are not really a, a required of any even gold. I think you are... Like you don't even need to invest any kind of gold, let alone the cess. But in this case, you are actually being demanded of using 500 cess in order to unawaken your hero units, which actually doesn't make any sense at all. Like this unawakening thing should not even exist in this game. <laughs> oh my god! All right, that was really funny. But anyways, I really like it. I really like it. My shufrakan has now got a tremendous amount of like uh, defense stats, which definitely is going to allow him to. Uh, inflict that fear of abyss on the opponents really really nicely okay and I will be trying to awa awaken most of my main PvP meta teams right at the bat as soon as possible because it's totally worth it so anyways that's how you do it all right ladies and gentlemen anyways this is it for today guys I hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the contents of my channel if you guys have any extra questions or queries or anything that you want to know let me know in the comment section below I would always be there to provide you guys some really good and sensible feedbacks. So, see you guys in the next video.